my recording too. Okay. There we are. This is the chapter where Elliewood needs to do a lot of stuff alone. What about the inventory? I think I managed that stuff already last time. I think he's fine. Hannes, Will, Dorcas and Sarah. Right. One person that can heal and another unit you know, that could use some EXP. Volume. Oops, wrong button. Not that, not that, no. I am ready to start. New York. Um, an ancient spirit in regards to blazing blade. Alright. Got to have that on my secondary screen. Go. Let us see. Um, does this axe dude have a ranged weapon? No. This mage will die one hit from the iron bow. That sounds like a good plan. Level up! Ramp and res. Not bad. Here. Only got the heal staff. Now let's just use it so that your weapon rank can increase. So that you will eventually be able to use at least a bit better staves. Um, this side, you're tanky enough. Yeah. Those are archers. You don't have a bow. No. You don't really have many hand axes. How many range units are there? Well, a few. But we also got Sarah to back you up. So I guess that that'll be fine. And start off. Wait, let's check their weapons. A long bow, a steel bow. Let's just put him here with a steel axe then. Long bow user would be able to attack Sarah. Not here though. Okay, Hollywood. This axe dude. Probably reach him. Yeah. Then I'll just keep Hollywood here for this turn. Yeah, making the dodges easy. Apparently, this path has a lot of axe users. I wonder why. I wonder why they had, like, the majority of them be axe users. I mean, I know that he's a sword lord, but can wield lances at that point. There are... Okay, there are at least a few sword users. Into the range of the next axe unit. And axe, of course. That's fine. These mages. Should be able to tank them. They're built here one enemies. I get the feeling that this chapter is not supposed to be hard at all. That I could have just brought whoever, whoever I wanted. Right. Oh, 
My gamepad is losing connection. That's better. Um, how far can this archer reach? Not very far at all. These guys are also not in reach, so I can put Sarah right next to... Oops, that's not... Let's put Sarah here. Yeah, those enemies aren't really much trouble at all. I like that the new I like that the new Fire Emblem games prioritize uh, moving the units that can attack first. That way you won't have to wait forever until. Oh, I can't uh, keep it. Well, that sucks. I don't know if there's anything actually good here. Yeah, drop the elixir. I don't think I've bought too many steel and, <clears throat> and iron bows, so I kind of want to keep them. Elixirs are good, though. Hmm. Ma I gotta gotta make sure to check the inventory of everyone else then. And I, I like to have a longbow just in case. I mean, I'm probably gonna get to purchase something soon enough again. And any elixir is not bad, so. But I gotta check the inventory of my units. Oh, not of my units, of the enemies. Another elixir, elixir, rapier. That one's probably Hollywood's path. Yeah. Didn't just much. Elixir. That'll be fine then. Yeah, I don't think I need any more elixirs. Except for maybe on Ellingwood. Well, let's put Ellingwood here. With the rapier equipped. Continue on with Will and Canis this way. Right. Um, just out of curiosity, how much damage can they? Yeah, okay, they can deal a little bit of damage to Sarah. This guy can't reach very far, can he? No. That is fact. But he's got a javelin, so... He can actually reach Sarah if I position her here. What's his power? Pack of 15. Um... Depends on five, so ten damage. Can you reach the pillars? Okay. Then let's do it like this. There are you fight against this one enemy, and Orcus will take care of these other ones. Perfect. The axe broke. And now. Archers will attack uh, while he has the Annex equipped. Right. I'm 
nothing to worry about here. Oh, cool. Great. <laughs> Good job, Alleywood. One. Now, the next one. Nice try. Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> I don't know if crits increase weapon experience in those games. I don't think they do in the modern ones, but... If they do, then that's fine. If they don't... Well... I'd rather that not happen. Wait. Javelin enemy is not moving? Wait, same for this archer. Why does he not move? Could have attacked Dorcas. Oh, maybe this was the. Yeah, that was what one from up there. Never mind then. Um. Let's use the secondary steel axe then. You can attack this sword fighter. Goodbye. Wait, isn't this the one with the rapier? No, wait, that was a Myrmidon, right? Good. That was this Myrmidon, yeah. Use of curiosity. Enemy's hit rate still sucks. So I might as well do that. There we go. And a two. Level up. Strength, speed, and res. Having, having a unit with good res is always nice. And it was turning out to be not bad. This is the one who's attacking, bolting. Attack power of 22. I forgot how much of it, damage it would have dealt, so... Um... Um, 11 damage. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. There. Only two can reach him. One of them probably will. Try two. Back from up close, yeah. Right, this one had the hand axe. Forgot about that. Also, like, that enemy's much trouble, so... 13. Did I miscalculate? Right, 9 plus... yeah. I don't know why. I thought... Oh. My XP! The traps in this game can kill the enemies. Good to know. Um... Blocks. Zero damage. <sighs> These enemies are weak. Weapon level increased. Yes. Will? Bye. Nice try. Alright. Get another level up. There we go. And... Nice. Now the... Axe Fighter will have to move from his... Safety tile behind the... Um... 
Why is it called floor? Lava tiles, whatever. Just use the steel, steel axe. One lava tile won't kill you instantly. You've got way too much HP. An elixir. Right, one of his equipment pieces broke, so it's so he can actually carry around one. That's nice. And no surprise here. Oh, cool. Nice try. Bye. The tile going to kill another one? I didn't look at the HP of this. Mage. Okay, no. That one was still full life. Oh, this is, this is a static enemy. One that won't move. That axe, dude. Well, it's worth the XP for me, so... Let's just do this. Goodbye. Oh yeah, is there a... Eagle of Dorcas? Back to full HP with Dorcas. 53. Oh. Yeah, he's got a long bow, so even if I had selected the other weapon, it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, well, technically 15 damage, that's. Not nice. Um, how much damage can you deal? Twenty. Weapon EXP. Oh, that's an that's a female archer. Huh. But the regular non-promoted. Well, it's a sniper, but the non-promoted archers are male. Generics, right? Not that there are any left on this map, so I can't really check, but... I think they are. Here. You can move in. Heal up Will. He needs the healing. Full life. Then let us proceed towards the boss. And axe and elixir. Hmm. Well, it's not like the enemy can crit, so why not? This way I'll be able to well, not lure this one, but the start anyway. Here, start breaking down this wall. Dorcas, you can hit the wall too. Of course this wall has 100, e uh, 100 HP. <laughs> okay. Here. I am one of Sir Roland's warriors, Georg. Your trespasses here, I will cut you down. Oh wow. Yikes. I didn't expect the, the boss to move. That's why I was not prepared.
Level up. Just out of curiosity, does he also have a melee weapon? An elixir. Um, vulnerary, yes. Kill this dude with the rapier. Nice crit. I'll actually replace the elixir instead. Because I already got two other ones. No, he only has the tomahawk. But he could technically crit Dorcas, I don't like this. Yep, no, oh, not a fan. Um, no, that's fine. First, let's heal Dorcas. This guy's move is that far, okay. This dude's pretty salt. Wait, is that does that count as a throne? No, it does. Bad. Slowly chipping away. You're just getting started. And X, of course. With the rapier equipped, I should be fine. Boss can move that far either way. And if the if that enemy moves, Ellie will, will, will be able to attack this one. Yeah. Um, staff, heal, Dorcas. Guys, no choke. Pack of 40 and kill pretty much anyone with a crit. If someone's got like 20 defense, it would be 60 damage. So someone would need a higher defense than 20 to be able to take a crit. Well, I, what I need to do is attack if someone cannot get crit. Oh, cool. This enemy's moving. Or Ellywood. Perfect. Thanks. One. And a two. Alright, now I need to get Elliewood to the left side. Probably, to heal him up. Defense increased. Can't hurt. Another elixir. That I will toss. down. Okay, yeah. Um, you're full by now? Yeah, good. And you can just attack this wall, because you can't crit it either way. I go to this tile over here, we'll be fine. 
Hollywood can't reach far enough. But I can see if the enemy has a crit rate. I don't like that. I didn't bring anyone who Hollywood has a support with to reduce that. But, what's his hit rate? 70% with that. Too bad that Ellie Wood's movement is just one short of being able to just go over there. I'm gonna have to risk it. You. Go up, Ellie Wood. Keep attacking the wall. Unlike this risk, 8% too. That's a bit too much for my taste. I'm gonna have to leave it at that. Oh my god, that's scary. Got a stave, right? Um, only silence. Do you have one that is no? Um, ten percent crit against you, thanks. Um, not like the crit chance. How do you fare? Nine percent crit against you. Also a kill. Um... Hollywood. Well, Raker is the only voice for you. So let's start with that. The enemy sit rate is at least pretty bad. The crit would be much appreciated, Hollywood. Okay, how much damage do you deal with the longbow? Eight. That's just enough. Assuming I don't get a, I don't get critted. Um, I'm crit. I don't like this. But Luna Tongue also got a decent crit rate, so please. Okay, not got not been critted. Lucky me. The seal protecting beyond my power, Brett. Okay, great. That was scary. HP, speed, and res. I got a tomahawk. Oh no, I don't want to drop that. Flux with five uses, drop that. Um. So let's have Sarah break down this wall sl ever so slowly. Now oh, let's just help out. You want this hand axe to break anyway. Now, Canis will need some healing. Sarah, you heal up Canis. Here we are. We'll leave it at that. That's right here. Finish the chapter. Okay. You have stood your guard for so, so long. I'm sorry. Their souls may rest. Their souls may now rest. At long last. Hmm. Time for a reunion of soul of sorts, Eliwood. Move back. 
My old friend, the little knight, Sir Roland. Roland, awaken and answer my call. My friend, why is all seeing Athos? Good to see you, Roland. I feel much time has passed seeing you again. It brings back memories, fighting the dragons, old friends. All this time lost in memory. It's been almost a thousand years, and yet, once again, the world is threatened by one who, cr who craves the might of dragons. The might of dragons. Heed my words, words Roland. This boy is, is, descended, uh, is descended from your blood. Please lend him your strength. I no longer have flesh and bone in this world. I cannot. No, wait. Take this. Its blade shall s shall serve as a as a vessel for my very wait for my soul's strength. If you do such a thing, you will pass forever from the reach of this world. And yet, my heart will be glad if I might help them, my children. There's nothing else I, I need to do. I ask that you see this through, my friend. I will. Lord Athos, who was that man? So you were able to see him too. That was your ancestor, the warrior Roland. That was Roland? Look, above the altar, a sword. Take it. It belongs to you now. What a wondrous blade. Durando, the sword of sacred flame. Sacred fire. What? 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 Auto text? No! Durandal, the sort of sacred fire. It's strange, isn't it? I've never seen it before. And yet, it feels so fam so familiar. I will use this to battle Nurgle. Come, to the Dragon's Gate. What? The sword. It's glowing. Watch out, something's coming. Can't be. It's a dragon. No. How is this possible? Get back, everyone. My voice is kind of not ready for Hector. <laughs> Badly. And auto attacks also denied me doing that. Hollywood, are you all right? I think so. My body moved on its own. It was as if the sword itself was guiding my my arm. The sword of sacred fire was made to combat dragons. With so much power, who can say what it might be capable of? But this ice dragon, surely, is something the matter, Lord Athos? No. Let me be the one to answer that. Nurgle, Nurgle, right? Blackheart, Nurgle! Ninian proved useless. I've come for a replacement. Nils! Nils! Don't waste your breath, he won't be awake for some time. Nils will do for me what Ninian would not. Scum, what have you done with Ninian? It's not what I've done. 
It's what you've done, Alleywood. What? Alleywood, did you never once question it? Why the siblings were needed to open the dragon's gate? Why did it have to be Ninian and Nils? The answer is simple. The dragon's gate cannot be opened by humans. Why would humans be able to open a gate that was best designed for dragons? What? It's pitiful, re it's pitiful, really. Poor Ninian's plight. Coaxed by my honey words, she passed through the gate. Through una though unable to return home, she refused to aid me and what wandered lost and alone until... Till she was slain by the hand of the one she loved. What? What are you saying? Can you not guess? Or is it that you are afraid to know? Very well. Let me tell you, Elliewood. The ice dragon there. The beast slaughtered by your hand. That is Ninian. The girl you loved. The girl you swore to protect. She returned to her true form and lost all human memory. Yet, you above all else remained in, in her heart, and she came here. Look upon the creature you have slain. That is Ninian. <sighs> Go on, look. She's using the last of her strength to take human form for one last time. I believe there may still be time enough to say farewell. You know, of course, that you cannot save her. Nurgle, you foul demon! It's not me, you, Elliewood. You killed her. You. I... Ah! Calm down. Get a hold of yourself, Elliewood. I... I... Lord Elliewood Ninian Ah Ninian Ninian Elliewood Ninian Please Ninian Don't die I What have I done? I'm glad What? You're unharmed, my lord. I'm glad. Ninian. Lord Elliewood, please. Please. This land. Ninian. Ninian? You can't. Answer me. There's so much I haven't told you. You can't. Why? Minion! That's enough. You will await the end of the world, trembling in shadows of dragons. I will not I will not permit it. Instead I will see you perish in flame. The purest fire. Flame breath. Very impressive, Arcsage Athos. However, however, fire is no longer my foe. Look, not even a legendary blade can
can cause me harm. At long last, I am impervious. <laughs> Miserable, aren't you, Athos? Yet out of respect for the great man you used to be, I'll leave. After all, 500 years ago, we followed the same path, did we not, old friend? <laughs> what do we do now? Not even legendary weapons can stop him. Ugh. Nils! You're awake! Are you okay? Ninian... Ninian... Ninian? Where's my... Nils... I'm so sorry... Ah... Uh. by me. Hard to do emotions and different voices at the same time. Especially screaming. Um... Bands of time. Ninian is dead. Now, only Nurgle's echoing lyre remains. On Hector's advice, the group leads towards Ostia. They are wary of the... of the... of the bone. Wait, they're wary to the bone. Weary. They're weary to the bone, and they need time to regroup. Ostia is the most heavily guarded fortress city, all of Lucia. No enemy should have been able to breach its walls. Should have. That's what he said. Or they said, the announcer. Chapter 26. Hands of Time. 29. Lord Hector! We are pleased to see you home alive and well. Where's my bro- Where's my brother? Ah, uh, he departed yesterday for a conference in Etruria. He's scheduled to return in half a month- In half a month's time. Etruria. Et Etruria, that's a pity. Go and prepare rooms for my companions. They need rest. Yes, my lord. Greybeard, you know something, don't you? Tell me, what are we supposed to do now? A moment, lad. A moment, lad. Yes, I suppose you have a right to know. I first met Nurgle some 500 years ago, wandering the Nabada wasteland. Like me, his only drive was the search for truth in this world. We were equals in power and knowledge, and we became fast friends. We believed we could solve the mysteries of the world. We truly believed. So what happened? A, a disagreement that... A disagreement made at the height of our quest. One day as I charted the mysteries of Nabada, I came across the most amazing village. It was unbelievable that in that place humans and dragons lived together in cooperation. Dragons and humans? Are you telling me they could live together in peace? At first, I doubted what my own eyes showed me. But yes, the village truly did exist. That's amazing. The dragons that I believe uh, that I beheld there, 
they were both similar and different from the dragons I had fought hundreds of years before. Ah, uh, Hollywood, are you... Please, go on. As you wish. They had refused to fight humans in the war, and instead they retreated to this wasteland. They desired nothing but to remain hidden from the outside. Nurgle and I crafted a barrier and created an oasis for them. Upon their invita invitation, we lived there with them. Our life there, it was calm and satisfying. At some point, the village became known as Arc Arcadia, a place of perfect peace for travelers gone astray. Arcadia, the dragon's, the dragon's libraries were a dream come true to us. We studied their language and history with unbri unbridled passion. A century, then two, time passed in an ice, in an ice blink. And yet, slowly, our thoughts turned to down different paths. In what way? I wanted to share the dragon's wisdom with others. My hope was for our earthly paradise to spread outward. And Nurgle? Ah, Nurgle, he took the dragon's knowledge. He learned the art of stealing the essence from living creatures and uh, living creatures and turning it into power. It was terrible. When we discovered what he was doing, the elders, and I tried to persuade him to stop, but the power bewitched him and he was deaf to our pleas. He started with small creatures and grew ever more confident. Then he began draining the quintessence of humans. The villagers and I joined forces and defeated him. Or so we thought, but... After, Nurg After he was banished from Arcadia, Nurgle fled to Burn. He increased his power slowly to avoid our eye. Using quintessence, he made his puppets the morphs. They're they're bewitching in form with They're befitch they're befitting They're bewitching in form with intellects beyond human. I'm sure you've laid eyes on them yourself. Yet black hair Wait, jet black hair, pale complexion, complexion, and blood red lips. Their most striking features are their glittering gold eyes. Attack! We are on attack! What? Lord Hector! It's bad! An unknown group has breached the castle walls! How did they get into the castle without anyone noticing them? It just appeared out of nowhere. The attack was so sudden, the castle guards were anni annihilated. Castle, Ost castle Ostia is famed, in famed far and wide as being impreg in impregnable. If, it if it's been breached so easily, can we save it? Snargle. His magic created an entrance for his thugs with within the castle. Last, that arrogant. No matter what. The throne must be protected. I'll not let the castle fall while my brother's away. Hold on, Hector. I'm going with you. Eppen, we need you. We need a plan. We can hold them back for, for a while. Reinforcements will come. So sorry about that. Um, let's see. Uh, 
There we are. There's my team. The inventory is fine. Right, um... Trade... Um, Canis... With... I don't know, Hector? Might as well. Give this to Hector. But not, like, in his hands. There we are. Perfect. Um, Dorcas. Can take the second hand axe, that's pretty used up. El an elixir in Canis' inventory is probably, probably not a bad idea. Because you won't be fighting in the front line too much, so if he, he has it so that someone else can pick it up when they need it. Come on. Don't lose connection now, gamepad. Here we go. Um... Will, um, transfer, give away the elixir, and that take a steel bow. Hopefully we have one. No, we don't. Uh, all right, I'll take that. Raid with Dorcas, not really, but just rearrange weapons. There we go. Um... We're fine for now, but the heal could break this chapter, so let's take a new, brand new one. Um, you're fine. No. Put away the rapier and take... Wait, did I not get the weapon last chapter? Blazing Blade Durandal. Thought I got a last chapter. Weird. Well, let's keep one inventory slot open in that case. Hector, you're fine. You're good. Um. Right. This is fine too. We'll leave it at that. Good. Time to save. Time for me to check the time. I've actually got a time limit. Um. Deploy Merlinists. Yes. Um. It's a message from Lord Nurgle. <laughs> I await you on the Dread Isle. Uh, when everyone did those song things, that one was that one stuck with me. I thought it was super good. <laughs> this is a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message. What a broken record. To all soldiers, take your posts and don't move. Hold your positions. All we can do is hold on until reinforcements arrive. Hollywood. What? Don't overexert yourself. I'm fine. I'm not that weak. Minion. You, you're one of Lord Hector's guests, aren't you? You shouldn't be out here, it's too dangerous. Go on and hide in that room, do you understand? So I assume that I should protect this room too, is what this means. Oh, my units don't start at all in the same space, that's it. Um... Oh cool, 
Lowen's there with Legault. Okay, we've got how many mages? Um, well, this one. And two more, but aside from that, you're pretty speedy, aren't you? Yeah, 18 speed. Press Q. Legault. Wait, should not be in range of this dude. Your speed is 9. Speed of 6. Okay, he'll be fine. I'll be making it for this item first, because then I can retreat afterwards. Um, of course, there's also a room over there. Panis, what's your defense stats? 11 and 20. Okay, you can take care of both of these guys. Um, wait, can you? You're standing up here. Can you reach as well? Uh, you will probably would, wouldn't attack, but in any case, that might be a solid idea. 16 defense. What's your attack power, guys? Oh, pretty weak, actually. Well, okay, this one's got a silver bow, so 23, yeah. Well, we'll do that. Go down here. And this mage attack there. Okay, yeah, wouldn't want that. This sniper attack there. 20 attack. I can deal. Okay, you guys are in position. Okay, um... Orcus. Don't even know how to start here. He will probably attack my allied units first. Which is a problem. Um, because some of my units just take these. Go ahead. Um, can you can reach this tile? Archers, though. Though not really. Much I can do. All three of you already have your. No, you, got, you only got B support so far. In that case, you go here. And Florina, what's your defense? Defense of 9. Guess I can put you right next to them. Um. That will be fine. Marcus. Hollywood. Hollywood's got really good defenses in both stats. Javelin. Marcus. Do you have a Javelin too? No. Don't. Wrath. Your defense. Pretty bad. Kirk. Decent enough. Mm. Let's see. Right, I can move Merlinus in a way that will benefit here. No! Nope. Uh, oh well. Elliewood will be fine over there. Perk, you can stand here. Wrath. Is any one of them. Yes, this one. Okay. You equip the longbow, that's perfect, and then next to him. Let's see how this goes. Killing edge. Nice crit lowen. Level up. HP and luck. 
Yeah, you're attacking generic. You're attacking Dorcas with a poison weapon. Of course you are. Uh. Oh. Cool. You're attacking Anas. Very good. Damage, yeah, it's not much. Not much you need to worry about. Oh, there's one of the Knights down. Nice crit. We didn't res. Oh my god. <laughs> already poisoned. Stop poking him. Oh my god. Nice dodge. There we go. Of course you're attacking. Lowen. Oh, Lowen's kind of blocked. That sucks. Can you kill him? Good job, Will. That'll help greatly. Level up! There we go. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of them on the left. Oh, you're silencing Canis. I think you're gonna miss. That's rude. What? Oh, you're silencing this dude. Oh no! One of them already died to poison. Oh cool, good job. Right. Okay, let's get started. You're going down. Good job, Florina. I... If I didn't have that item, I don't, would, I don't think I would have moved her first. I would have waited until there's only one enemy left and then have her attack. Because the risk is too great. Um, hand axe. Elax. Playing axe. Hammer. Um. Relax. Down with this one. There we go. Most of them are archers, not snipers. Another sniper around somewhere. Only HP, huh? This is a sniper, right? Yeah. In that case, I'd like 
you two finish this one off. Okay. I'm pretty sure Wrath can also reach the left side. Not sure if he can actually uh, shoot someone. Well, he can use his longbow, I guess. Oh cool, he can actually finish this one off, so worth it. Chris, come on. Second hit. There we go. Finish hit. Okay, Lin, you start by cutting this one down with the iron sword. Such an over-the-top animation for just using... It's just a normal attack. Work. Let's attack from here with fire. There we go. Bye. And, uh, Sarah? You wouldn't happen to be able to finish this one off, would you? No, of course not. Um... Ellie would. Position yourself here, and toss a javelin. Couldn't hit. Okay, it does, but it's not like it's a ma it's it's a massive amount of damage. So you're still safe. Over here. Wait there. That's this group. It's kind of dangerous. I don't like this. How much damage would, would you take if all of them hit you? 11? Oh. 11 and 9? 8? With this dude? 15. 11, 9, 8, 15. That's less than 40, so he's fine. Right? 11, 9, 8, 15. 20. It, well, okay, it's more than that. It's actually one more than he got HP right now. But if I kill one of them, like this, He'll be fine, because none of the physical units can even scratch him. Okay, um... Will? Not, I don't think all of them will be able to swarm uh, Loan without attacking him from afar. I assume some of them will try to go for someone else, so... Um... As long as these guys are in the range... That was the tile, right? Yeah. Up here, items, yarn bow, that's... The short bow does not increase my avoidance. I'll stick with the iron bow in that case. Panis, attack this archer. Down he goes. I don't want you in danger, so... Of course, you poison this one. Okay, yeah, this one's attacking one of them. 40% hit. Low and dodge. Good job. That'll have me less worried for the next turn. 
probably going to get surrounded. Not sure if I can find a way out for him. The poison bow would also be a big problem if it hit. Because of just the sheer mass of damage that he would get from all of the turns that he would have to fight. And actually, there's still a tile open in the bottom, which means the perfect tile for Loan to run away. You're attacking- you're not even attacking him, that's even better. Nice try. Job. That would have been really bad. Oh, you're you're attacking Marcus. Okay. Dodge it, please. Okay, good. Because I don't think I have re restore on Sarah right now. Well, not that the convoy is far away, so I think that would still be fine. But you know. Oh no! Why are you attacking this morph? Enforcements. Okay, it's no mages, right? Yes. This thief won't be getting what he wants. Um. What's your range? This tile. Of course it is. Um. Oh, it's fine. Loan, just in case you equip the javelin and drop off. Wait, actually, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope the chest tile does not consume two spaces of movement. Um. Okay, next up would be getting rid of this. Wizardy type. Um, of course, he's got a Nosferatu. So I need to use a stronger tome. Guess this would. Oh, wait, this is actually more than enough. Even if the enemy were to hit, because Nosferatu only heals him two, or was it one? Whatever. I don't, rem I don't remember if it was full or half of it. It really... I know that it's... Well, from what I remember, it's half in Awakening and Fates, but I can't say for sure. With this game, for example. Mm -hmm. You've got... Your defense is pretty fine. How strong are these guys? 16, 13, 13, 14, yeah. So, how about we kill one of the mages instead? There we go. Because the archers will have to attack from afar. I wonder if this thief will go, would have wanted to try for this treasure, or if this thief wants to unlock this door here. I hope this does not imply that I need to go there with Ellie Wood or with Lynn. Actually, I think I can actually, I can actually afford doing that. Maybe that'll help let me have Nils be part of this. Um... Silver Bow. Good job. I like archers. 
Strength and speed. Right. You move this way. The one to finish out this dark mage will be Lorena. Let's use the Slim Lance. We'll reduce the enemy's hit rate even more than already. And the Iron Lance can one shot either way. So the only, only other option would be to use the Silver Lance. And I might as well just keep that for cases I actually need to one shot enemies. Um, I don't think I need to break this. Do I? Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh, since your inventory is full, I can't cycle through. Yeah, I wish I wish I could at least cycle through, but since I can't anyway. <clears throat> It'll be fine. I'll move Merlinus this way. Now I can trade Sarah's uh, silent staff for another one. So I can actually check out. Got a chest key with one use. That wouldn't really be beneficial to me. Oh, that was the anti crit one. That would have been useful against the last boss. <laughs> Oh cool, there's chest keys with multiple uses left still. Wait, what? Why are they not... whatever. Now, let's put this away. Let's actually do this instead. Take... This chest key. This chest key. Wait. Now, Hector, you might as well just break this. I'll just put Sarah in there to open up both of these chests. Okay, um... Erk, you can be in range of one of these guys. No problem. One percent crit. Not a fan. Because that would make a huge difference if you were to crit. Right. Alright. Nice dodge. Even without any damage, the poison effect would suck, so... I'm happy we don't get that. You're trying for the gold. No surprise there. Uh oh. Will's poisoned. But I've got a healer next to him. So at least I'll be able to aid Will. Right. Nice crit. Good job, Will. You're attacking with your longbow. No worries though, because you deal zero damage. He is going, he is going for that door. I don't want to go for the boss just yet because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the killing the boss will. Save me from protecting from the protecting throne objective. Oh, Denning is an archer. Huh. Right. Sniper. Wouldn't that be interesting? Oh. Okay. For a second, I thought. Body ring. Ooh. Wasn't that something good? Constitution, yeah. 
Okay, you can continue trying to break down this. Let's first get Florina next to him. Actually, let's have him attack first. No, that's stupid. Let's get Florina to attack the wall. Sure, I guess. And move Hector down here. Trade her equipment so that spear is not her go-to weapon. Wait. You can move over there, Sarah. Um... Okay, let's see. Not for this turn, at least. What do you got? Are you strong? No, you got. You just got poison lances. What's your weapon ranks? A and B. We'd like you to attack with the with a sword, though. So let's do that. Nice crit, Lowen. Probably pretty weak. Yeah, okay. I'll attack like this then, because Will's already poisoned. And I can just keep, uh... What's his name? Canis behind Will. To heal him up. HP. I don't really care if they open up the right path, because it genuinely does not change anything for me. So, they might as well do that. You heal up, Will. Much appreciated. Um... You two can move to this side, it's perfectly acceptable. Nothing happens if you go over there. Okay. I want this one gone, though. So, you attack with the Iron Axe. Miss, please. Thank you. Guess this would not have been very little damage. Anyway. Okay, that one's gotten rid of. You stay close. Rough. You can move over that way to Lin. Okay, you already got your A support. Right. Nice dodge. Let's see. Oh no, the door is opened. How terrible. Oh my god, this one this one guard up there is panicking. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Um Wow, oh, they're all just poisoned enemies. Really? Even those thieves are only poison enemies. There. Um. Rescue the gold. Let's move this way. 
just go and help with killing, I guess. Yes. I wouldn't even need to use those chest keys, I guess, that I put on Sarah. Question is, should I? Okay. Oops, that I did not intend to do. You attack here. Goodbye. There's barely any enemies left on the map. But I don't want to leave early because I don't know if I if there's any treasure that I could miss out on if I did, did that. Also, support points I can get between those two. I think I'll just use those two chest keys because it's only one use chest keys anyway. Now oh, wait, that's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. Make drop off. Bye. You move over there. Wellness, you stay behind. I also got a. Uh... Okay, nothing really happening. There might be a secret shop around here somewhere, but. Part is on Legald over here. I guess I could. What I could do would be moving Merlin's over this way while. Yeah, I guess that's an idea. That's worth the effort, I'd say. Anyone left to kill? Yes, a thief. Yes, hello. Would you like to die? to sneeze. No, oh, a message from Lord Nurgle. He waits me on drought. I, 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 I. Oh cool, he's attacking with a longbow. I was worried that I accidentally kill him too early. But cool, cool. Nothing to worry about. Oh, he's poisoned. What's this? Oh, because they opened this door, now there are reinforcements coming from that direction too. Why are they all wielding poison weapons? The status effect is not that threatening if none of your units can deal any damage. Also, it's your lucky day that I changed my mind. Here, take the ceiling. There's no need for you to die today. Hollywood, you've got an open inventory space, but only one. This way. Let's store something else. Actually, not right away. Raid. Take. This Iron Lance for the Vulnery for the time being. I think that's a reasonable course of action. Then you can be over here. Okay, would you can slowly move upward. You two, I want you two to be up on top the left. I don't know if enemy reinforcements can somehow appear on this side. Okay, Dorcas can also stay up with the rest. Lowen, you have all the guys here. 
course you can't reach anyone with a melee weapon right now. Well... Oh right, the boss Benning actually has got a different weapon too. Silver bow. How scary is he with the silver bow instead? 23? Ooh, yeah, that's not... Too nice. Let's retreat. As long as they've only got... low and in the range of that guy, it'll be alright. Um... He's also still pretty fine, so even if he gets poisoned, he can retreat. Yeah, that one's down. That was the boss acting, so we are still fine. The javelin will probably break by with this amount of enemies. <laughs> I don't remember how many uses it had left, but... Probably not enough to deal with all of them. Maybe the archers could attack first, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> well, one of the others already attacked, but still. HP and speed. Ooh. Seems like the archers are attacking before the thieves. That's nice crit. Oh, you guys are trying to get the treasure, aren't you? Of course there's a reinforcement guy from the right. That just had to happen. Okay, the gold. Open this chest. A white gem. Oh lordy. Um, let's put away the body ring. That was stupid. Should have put away the jam itself. Mm. Oh well. Body ring is an item I did not need to put away, but the other two items I would have liked to put away. Not sure why I didn't. Um, okay. Range of setting. You over there. Benning. Reach up to this tile, so I'm just gonna put you here. They're not trying to tag either way, so. Um, you can stand next to Denning. Attack once. Pretty free situation for you. <laughs> um, let's just, I don't know, wait, I guess. Not like you do much. Oh, yeah, and turn. Of course, attack, attacking from the other pillar. The steel land, a uh, steel bow too. <clears throat> but now I've got more freedom of movement with um, my archer again. So that's nice. I need to keep an eye on the time, that's why I keep checking my phone. <laughs> Alrighty. We're still good though. I 
still got roughly two hours, so another chapter's in. Uh, for the, for the run. No problem. This dream can contain one more run. Uh, run, yeah. One more <laughs> battle. One more map, I mean. Okay, so let's at least send away the membership card. Good. Wellness, you move over. Right here. You do that. Give away the stupid Hollywood. Just as the convoy, put away that and take. That's not what I wanted you to take. Give away the chest key. And move up here. Actually, it could also be in there, couldn't it? These spaces up there are more suspicious to me. Um. What's this one got? Lips. Yeah, I don't want that. You just strike it down, please. Not wanting any of that. down. Hmm, actually, the boss standing might be moving for green unit. Yeah. Oh well. Let's put you in here in a row, right here, slowly moving to the right I guess, on HP, or why not. It's okay to be wasteful at, at times. Um, those now. Attack from here. I'll get all the kills. Those dudes. We'll see if Danning will move for Loen or for the green unit. Probably the green unit. But that means Loen will be safe for the rest of the chapter. That's nice. Let's move this way. I'm actually lived. Oh, they didn't have. Did I miss the tackle? Weird. I thought I thought uh, Denning would attack last. Did he attack first, or did he, did, I, did he attack in, in the middle of the 
other enemies' attacks. Let's see, your movement is... Seven, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll move you there, right next to... Loneliness. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, okay, no. He's gonna kill another green unit, that's fine. Enough of them already died anyway, but I can't. If there is a reward for protecting all of them, I can't get that. Mm-hmm. You guys are in range, no need for that. go. We're fine over here as well. Marcus, you can move up again a bit. Let's end the turn. Attacked after one of the other ones, that's interesting. Okay. Do they carry around anything valuable? Probably not. No. Um. Let's give away the member's card. Right here. You take this over to Hollywood. Here's your lance. You would be able to attack. But can I kill him? the others? Probably. I only one attack. I want damage. Not that much. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. Lone can't reach. Yeah, good. Hector's in range, technically. Can you go over there? You'll do this. Good job, Dorcas. This is a message from Lord Nergo. Broken record. Bye. Nice. Oh, the chapter doesn't end with his death. Oh well. In that case, let's just pack like this. HP is so high. Well, okay, he's almost level 20. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I know. No sense in moving any of the other units.
Here we are. Last turn. Okay, um, wait. Hollywood's inventory is back to the way it's supposed to be. And turn. <laughs> I'm gonna assume the guy who's out of line because of my uh, of lowness is the one talking. Lord Hector, are you unarmed? Protect Lord Hector! Knights of Ostia, attack! Hey, Greybeard! Are these guys... Yes, I'm sure of it. They are his morphs. It's true. They are eerily similar. Similar. That reminds me that man on Valor, Aphidel. Black Fang Sonia, too. Are you saying that he made them all? It is an abomination, a crime against all that is natural. When Nurgle began using morphs to carry out his plans, his power had grown beyond our ability to contain him. After humans, his next target became the essence of dragons. His next target had to be Arcadia. I concealed our paradise behind a curtain of sandstorms. I then hit the underground ruins and waited hidden the underground ruins and waited for him. I did not hope to defeat him, just to exchange blows, and then draw him into the desert, which would be his end. But Nurgle never showed up, did he? Correct. I have no idea how he managed it, but... I called those siblings through the Dragon's Gate. And now... He plans to call a horde of dragons to this land. What do we have to do to stop him? Our last hope is the power of the legendary items. It would take too long for us to gather all of them. I will go to the Shrine of Seals and tell Bramimond everything. We must have his power, no matter the cost. Then we should go to the Dragon's Gate ahead of you. What? That's a good idea. Even though you cannot harm Nurgle himself, you can certainly do some damage to his troops. If we don't answer Nurgle's invitation soon, he'll continue to send our troops after us. If that's going to happen, we might as well take him on, take on the fight, take the fight to him. I won't have Lucia ravaged by an, any more of his acts. You, you truly are Roland's children. I am old. I did not expect anything to surprise me again, and yet. Lord Athos, it takes the strongest of bonds to alter the course of fate. Go, go my youthful friends. Set, out, set your sights on the dragon's gate and keep moving. Elliewood, what happened to Durando? It's right here, I'm sorry. I simply couldn't bring myself to wield it. Let me have it for a while, is that alright? Yes. Elliewood, I understand how you feel, but without this weapon we won't be able to stop Nurgle. You know that, don't you? Yes. When I next wield it, I won't hesitate. I know. Yes, side quests, cool. Chapter 29. Axe. Battle preparations. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, that's not what I meant when I said I was going to do another chapter. <laughs> We've received word from Captain Fargus. If we come to ba 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 Baden, Baden, I guess. 
He'll give us passage to the Dread Isle. Well then, let's get going. It would be best if we outfitted ourselves before setting out. We will need many supplies for a campaign on Valor. And the castle town here is better stocked than Baden, I'm sure. We can empty the coffers here and sell the treasures if need be. Huh. <sighs> uh, within limits, of course. Say, 30,000 gold? That seems a reasonable amount. Come on, I'll lead the way. Ostia's castle town is as impressive as ever. Shops and items of all types imaginable. For generations our ancestors dedicated themselves to a sort of frugal militarism. Nobles and commoners alike shunned extra extravagance. Corrupt neither the body nor the mind, they cried. Since the, re since the time of Roland, this has been the dormant ideology of Ostia. I heard that when Lord Uther first participated in the Lucian Council as Marques Ostia, he gave a scathing indictment of the peer system. Now I understand. His philosophy has its root in the history of Ostia itself. That's right. Yet this thinking... It threatens the lifestyle of many of our aristocrats. So some groups view my brother with en enmity. I must grow wiser so that I can sit at my brother's side and aid him. Of course, my fighting skills are not yet what they should be. But this isn't the place for that kind of talk. We've got to get going. Come on. Yes, I will go with you. Curious. What is it, Lindis? Hector. He acts like such a brute, but he takes his duty seriously. Hector has always been a man of a firm character. I've always en envied him for that. His ability to conceal any doubts he feels about himself or his actions. I know. I'm a little envious too. Wouldn't that be a question mark? Of what? He doesn't second guess what he's what he must do. No hesitation. I mean, I wouldn't has I wouldn't hesitate about anything concerning my grandfather's health. In fact, I'd be happy to do anything I could. I thought I was I was all alone all, all alone in the world. Now that I found my family, I don't want to lose him. I know what you mean. I can't bear to think of losing my mother. If I survive all of this, I want to be at my mother's side to do what she asks, anything she asks. Nothing is more important than family. Yet, in my heart, the plains still call me. The never-ending oceans of grass. The memory of that scent alone is enough to leave me weak. Lindis. Hey. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get going, both of you. Well, first we must deal with, with the ma madness before us. If we can't stop Nurgle, we lose everything dear to us. Let's go. Everything dear to us. 